What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. I hope you guys have enjoyed your weekend of open lobbies and grid life events here on Torque Today we're going to talk about the update and everything that's new on it. So make sure you guys follow me on social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So with that being said, as you can see, there's plenty of updates that I'm sure you guys have all been on doing this weekend. I hope you guys had a good weekend doing it. Open lobbies are now a thing here in Torture with cross-platform, grid life track, as well as tune slots, and a new, you know, rank view, and some HD interiors. So open lobbies has been a big thing that everybody's been asking for, and it's finally here in Torture. I know we teased about it a while ago, so we're going to take a look at that today. So... We do have a new track, which we do have an event at Grid Life Pikes Peak. So let's see if we can actually get into a tandem event here on the new track. Take a look at the new track before we get into the open lobby stuff. Let's see if we can find any way to go against here for this episode or if we're just going to take the car out and do a practice session in the new track. Something I haven't been able to find anybody to go against here on the Grid Life event. I don't know if maybe it's something going on buggy with my internet, but I haven't been able to find something to go against. So I think we're going to go back and actually just take a look at the track in a free run or a practice session. Grid Life event. So we're going to go take the M4 out, take a look at the track, and, you know, give you my impressions on it. So we do have, you know, Grid Life, Inner Loop, and Alpine Slide as well as Pikes Peaked. So, we're gonna just go, I think, and go free roam. We're gonna go in full free roam, take a look at the new environment and everything like that. So I know the track actually does go this way. So this is kind of the actual run. There's not as many walls as if you were actually running on the tandem section of Pikes Peak. The environment looks amazing. I love the nighttime. I love the headlight view. Personally, I think the taillights should be on a little bit for nighttime driving, but you know what? We still got the headlights up there, and we got all the glowing signs and stuff of that nature here in this grid life track. So grid... Oh, yep, yep. Nope, go that way. So it looks definitely incredible. I love, like I said, all the looks, the teal, the purple, the glowing signs and everything like that and just the massive amount of cool environment that we're getting with these new tracks here on PC and mobile. So we're gonna flip it this way because we have free runs. So we're gonna flip it out this way and see where that goes this way. Going high up on a bank. Oh man, we're going up on a bank. High speed drifting? I mean, I think so. 140 miles an hour into the wall <laughs> 140 miles an hour into that wall hard unfortunately that hurts but you know it's definitely cool that you know you get a chance to do some free roam stuff this is a big outer loop for sure oh throw it in try and snap it this way no nope, we're gonna go right into that wall so we're gonna go actually go back and actually run the actual grid life circuit which is actually what's going on right now because it's a fun track go Pikes Peak no nope, Pikes Peak and we're gonna go to the actual grid life section we're gonna try and we're gonna throw it down in the M4 maybe tandem ourselves before we go take a look at some of the open lobbies so the M4 I'm definitely gonna have to be doing some more liveries and stuff on that nature because well open lobbies are definitely a thing now Gonna have to uh, show the livery skills and stuff now because we can. So this track is a pretty tight track with, you know, very narrow road. And on the east turns, it's very close, easy to just smack the back end of the car just as I did there. It's a fun track and I can't, you know, get over the fact that we're getting all this new content in this game. Definitely cannot wait for what wheel support is a full thing. I didn't get that S turn very at all. Because you know I'll be rocking the Fanatec or the T920 on this game for sure. So, not the cleanest run. 
but you get the idea of the track. So we're gonna go take a look at open lobbies because that is the big thing right now with this update is the open lobbies. And trust me, I'm excited to have it. I'm gonna be running some open lobbies with you guys. Gonna be running open lobbies live on the channel. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for all of that information. But the cool thing, you know, the fact that you just go over to open lobbies, you can find yourself a session. Let's see what sessions are going on right now. So we got some with uh, eight at initial at Hakone. Okay, Hakone Yard. We got it at Atlanta Ocean Drive, Cali Banks. So we got a lot of people up there throwing up some major tracks. So I think we're gonna go into this from Drift uh, Drift Park. Cali Banks and it's by Joshua six of ten people Let's jump into the lobby so open lobbies are a great thing to do you know car meets hang out with people meet people and all that kind of stuff I'm gonna be popping into a lot of lobbies now that this is all open there it is evil rabbit 07 looks like we got oh we got cars flipping everywhere so the one things that I did really noticed when I was uh, taking a test on the lobby uh, sometimes the audio can get a little bit glitchy with all the cars or people who have somewhat oh in somewhat bad internet as you can see there's some uh, there's some glitching and everything going on but one cool thing I did found is that if I hit the select I think select button on my controller we go into this aspect where I can just move around zoom wherever I want and just look around so that is a big thing for me because the fact that we can just move around and take a look and run like aerial versions of it means we can do some amazing major things like we can do tan like I think these guys are about tandem so we're gonna take a look at these guys oh well I glitched myself out there okay I glitched myself out so you can do this cool thing of let's just watch overhead and watch this guy right now run this line coming in hard yeah I don't know what he hit but he hit something got the Mustang running the inner bank there following that Viper coming up behind but you can just full-on watch and do basically aerial tandem battles because you can do this where the person running the lobby a couple people can run as judges and stuff of that nature so we're gonna go back into the game and we're actually going to try and uh, maybe drive with some people because that's what we came here to do. But so I am going to be planning on running some tandem comps hopefully here on the online, you know, lobbies and stuff. Wow, I almost got taken out by that guy. The online lobbies because you can do a couple overhead judges and stuff like that. So you can actually do tandem competitions based on proximity and clipping points and stuff of that nature because it's live driving. It's not... I'm gonna lead and then you're gonna chase and we gotta follow the runs it's gonna be more so live driving which is a big deal and a very big thing to hit this game because the ability to do tandem comps now with live tandems is something we didn't have before and now that we have this unfortunately you got all this stuff that's you know when people start hitting stuff and things of that nature stuff gets in the way but if you have people that are actually uh, very solid with you know you running a, a lobby that say hey don't go don't hit things and just run them kind of like I do in a set of Corsa when I go into competitions and stuff with a set of Corsa we're gonna try following uh, this man this Von Gittin junior car or the S15 now because we got kind of bested on the start so the one thing that I did notice there is a bit of lag sometimes if people are running bad internet or phone internet and stuff of that nature the audio can get a little bit glitchy at times but I'm sure that just has to do with people's internet connections. So if the more people transfer over to PC, the more likely we're going to see better internet connections and have better tandems and get close. But the fact you can get up, like, I can get up to this man's door if I can and run doors with him. And then if we actually get up to him, we can actually hit him. And, you know, door taps will be a big thing and just... It, it's a There was a little bit of a glitch, but it's the big ability now to be able to just run with your friends or random people and do just do open stuff is a big deal for this game because now instead of just going I got a lead and then I'm gonna chase now you have the ability to run live with people so we're gonna 
throw ourselves in here. Got proximity up there. I kind of hit the wall up there. We got somebody's bumper just lying in the track. Cut back, flick this way. We got somebody watching in there. We got S SR23 DET thrown up in you know Dean Carney's Viper. So we're gonna go take a look at another lobby here for today. So I'm super excited for the lobbies and everything to come out because you know it's a big deal. And I'll be running my own lobbies because you can just go here, create, set your max horsepower, set your minimum rank, collisions on, yes or no, public lobby, password. You can make it, you know, close to your friends if you want just your friends. And then you can do anything you want. Any track, anything, set your power limit, which, you know, you can go down even to grassroots cars at 350 horsepower. You can set your ranking if you don't want, you know, rookies, pros, whatever, car types in there. You can do whatever you want private with a password it's whatever you want is available for you so with this coming out there's gonna be a lot of things coming on the channel gonna be running some live events gonna be hopefully gonna be doing my own tandem competition here in torque drift because a lot of people have and a lot of people can join it and you know people who don't have pcs or xboxes this is a big thing now because you can just you know you can just throw it out there and do it so let's see what other lobbies we can get into what else we got going on here so, the full track at uh, Hakone would be pretty hard because I'm not going to know where anybody is. So, Road Atlanta, there's 5 of 10 here. Let's hop into Road Atlanta and see. Maybe we can throw down some tandems in Road Atlanta in open lobbies. So, are you guys enjoying open lobbies? Do you think you should something you should change? You know, let me know down in the comments because, you know, I'm super excited. Oh, boy, I started, like, right in the middle of their run-in. That is one thing I did notice. Starting right in the middle of somebody's run-in is uh is a thing, but you know what? Get out of the way. Get your uh get back. Looks like these guys are running some good lines, so we're gonna stage ourselves up here and see if maybe we can get some tandems. Oh oh okay all right we got a bunch of people coming back up. Looks like we're gonna possibly run some trains. All right. Starting to feel a little bit like a force of lobby, and I feel like this is gonna be a big thing with people just throwing it in like that. That's why if you get into a lobby with a bunch of friends or people you know are just gonna throw down how you want, it's gonna be a good time. The only thing is, it is a public lobby, so you know, have everybody running kind of what they want to run. So, you know, I just got kind of hit around and you know, moved around, stuff like that. But it's not a thing, it's still fun. It's just like going to a set of course of lobby or a you know, for the lobby, it's just, you know, that's, that's just what happens. I could see a lot of people getting a little frustrated with it, though, but you know what? We're here, we're in an open lobby, so we're going to run this here and throw it down here in Road Atlanta. Maybe we run in the lead of a train right now. Unsure, this dude just drop it in there. Can't break that up. Kind of cutting in. Oh, and that uh, S15 cut it, cutting across the track. To try and suck up on his door, though. So I think I'll do it here for this episode. Just a glimpse of the new updates and everything to come. Oh, like I said, I'm gonna be running some public lobbies and things of that nature because now I can drift with you guys in real time rather than just doing the tandem battles based on codes. So, make sure you follow me on all social media, all of which follow in the description box below. Some big things are going to be changing here with Torque Drift on the channel for my account. I'll keep you updated with that as things progress. Oh, oh, I mean, I just yeeted into the yeet delete. And then we're getting door banged by Tanner97. So, definitely a lot of fun to see all these cars out here and the ability to do live drifting. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Definitely here in Torque Drift. Gonna be hopping into a lot of public lobbies. If you see my name, make sure you guys shout me out on Instagram. I will be around. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the track.